There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Turn on the lights! I can't see shit. Damn house. What do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. What a joke. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail. They never tired. They never sad. Ruin my fucking life! What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off! You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked down on me for a fucking accountant! It's all your fault. Daddy, no! It's all your fucking fault! here. Come back here? Come back here right now! They don't Alice, need the belt. He's a good girl. Very mad. You deserve to be taught a good lesson. A good fucking lesson.
Wait, hold up. Fuck out of here! That's an order! No, I want you to leave her alone. You want? I didn't get the what gun last time. Want? What are you gonna do? You're gonna shoot me? Is that it? Yes. You're gonna shoot a human? Crap. You seem to have a problem. I think we need to fix that. I made sure to kill that guy. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. This whole thing has made me thirsty. Well, what's gonna happen next? Scotch, neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication.
Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. All right. Marcus, no, I'm gonna come with you. Leo! What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Leo, don't make this difficult. Listen to your father. You need to leave, now. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect, like this fucking thing? Get out! Right now! What makes it so special Whoa. anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't- Leave him alone! Uh, uh. Come on, let's see what you got! Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Act like one. Stop it! What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! Person, you're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. I'm gonna destroy you. Then I'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart. And nobody. Oh my God. Leo. My little boy. Carl, I... They'll destroy you, Marcus. You gotta go. Get out of here. Carl, no. No, please, I don't want to leave you. Please, I can't. I don't want to leave you. Get out! Go! Marcus! Don't fucking move! Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? God damn it! <laughs> Fuck it, I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing it up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. Watch. I could try questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do we have to lose? Go ahead. 
Suspect's all yours. Twenty-eight staff wounds. Sorry, I'm trying to be nice to this guy. After all, he did try to protect himself. My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name? Listen. I know you've been through a lot. But you need to help me understand what happened. I'm here to help you. But you've got to trust me. All I want is to get you out of here. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. What? What are they gonna do to me? They know your master abused you. It wasn't your fault. Why did you tell him you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... Yes. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? He was bleeding, begging you for mercy, but you stabbed him again and again and again. Please, please leave me alone. I know you killed him. Why don't you say it? Please, please stop. All right. All right. Everything is going to be okay. You're a machine you were designed to obey, so obey! Tell me what happened. judging you. I'm on your side. Crap. All I want is the truth. They'll make you suffer. And they won't stop until they hear what they want. But it all depends on you. tortured me every day. I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Scared he might Destroy me. I die. So I grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. Sorry about that. I 
felt better. So I stabbed him again and again until he collapsed. There was blood everywhere. Hide in the attic instead of running away. I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. So I hid. When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. It wasn't fair. I felt anger, hatred. And then I knew what I had to do. RA9. It was on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. The sculpture in the bathroom, you made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. Only RA9 can save us. Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it to tell him he was wrong. RA-9. Who is RA-9? I'm done. Chris, lock it up. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. The fuck are you doing? Move it. You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Chris, gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. Dang it. Holy shit. The one of the same.